Hello everyone and welcome to RJ's story time. This edition we're going to call I Scored Big Today and the reason why is because I I finally got reconnected to the universe through my internet umbilical cord uh, also known as an ethernet cable if you're a geek you know what I'm talking about there um, yes today I was hooked up uh, back back uh, you know a real person in the universe <laughs> being cut off from mother Google for a week was very odd it was kind of disquieting it kind of I have a lot of skills computer-wise. I can make a lot of things happen to your machine, or mine, or random people in the street. But here it is. Sometimes I became aware, I think, of how much I have traded those skills for other skills that I used to have, like reading maps and things like that. You know, things that I've just fallen out of practice with that, uh, that are good skills for surviving in the wild. And, um, and it was also interesting how disconnected, I think, that I felt from people. I did, whenever I wandered into internet space, uh, or I did to use my phone for the last three days, continually trying to connect with people and letting them know where I was at and uh, that I am not dead. And that was extremely helpful. But I, I was so happy to get the internet today. So that was probably the biggest thing today. I have a script right here that I'm referring to, by the way. That's why I keep looking down like this. Um, also, uh, my my friend Bjorn at the International Student Office today called British Airlines for me and uh, tried to determine where my baggage might be. And the story is this, that uh, they found my bags uh, a couple of days ago when I called. They were in London. But since then, they have lost the bags again. And uh, and when I say lost, I mean could be anywhere at this time. I think when I checked the bags at Omaha, someone giggled at someone else and said, let's see how many countries we can get this bag to go to. And if we end up with this trip, with my bag having been to more countries than me, I'm not going to be happy about that. I'm just going to warn you right now. That's not going to go over well. Um, also, uh, it was determined that my bag was insured for up to 1,100 euros. So if I needed to go on a shopping trip, uh, that I would be able to do that. If I keep my receipts, I'll be reimbursed. Uh, so, you know, who knows what was in the bag? Actually, I have a, I have a list. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> at any rate... If I need to go shopping in the next few days, which I may need to. I mean, you'll recognize the sweater from past postings. Um, I'm wearing it a lot, is why. Um, anyway, uh, I also met with the caretaker today uh, of the building that I'm in. And he fixed my heat, gave me a shower curtain. Very important. Uh, shower curtains are very important. Yes, they're very important. I have been using a squeegee to get the water off my floor and back into the shower. I won't explain to you the process. It's very long and drawn out. But, it, you know, it was just, uh, it's a process I no longer have to go through. So, thanks, caretaker guy. That was awesome. Um, also, I have made some purchases in the last few days, and I would like to share them with you now. Because shopping is a process when you're here. It's a whole thing. It's a, it, you can't just read the package because when you're me, you don't know what it says. So you kind of have to start taking clues by a whole different method. Shopping is not, let's go out and purchase the same old thing. Shopping is every ingredient, a new adventure. And so I would like to share some things with you now. First of all, laundry soap. This is my chosen laundry soap. Actually, Igor and I are going to be splitting this package. It's my chosen laundry soap of the day. Now, I was faced with a whole line of cleaning products. Um, the problem was that I didn't know what each of them did. Um, they seemed like laundry soap to me, but they also seemed like they also could be dish soap or fabric softener 
or dishwashing gel. I didn't really know, you know, it really, it was difficult to tell the difference. So uh, I just began looking at the pictures and uh, I think that's how I'm gonna survive. Pictures, uh, we're back to that now. But see, here's a picture right here of, I don't know if you can see this, but a t-shirt. So obviously this has to be laundry soap. So uh, we're gonna let you know how that works out. Uh, well, you know, we'll just let you know. Also, um, here's something. This is the deodorant stick that, um, you can read right there, deodorant stick that British Airways gave me when I lost my luggage. And uh, as cute as it is, uh, I discovered the other day inadvertently that it's insufficient. I raised my arm to shake someone's hand and I thought, oh my God, you should put that back down. So sadly, I've had to wean myself, not really. Um, I just stopped using it altogether. I, what I did was I, I wandered into a shop. Um, it looked like they sold, you know, drug story things. Uh, I started just looking at the shelves thinking I could maybe figure out what I wanted. Maybe there were things that were kind of, maybe there were American things that were imported or something, you know? And uh, I obviously, uh, obviously didn't know what I was doing, and, and I believe that the shop people knew it. So um, a lady came over to me, very nice, and she asked me if she could help, and I didn't know what she said, so I just asked her if she spoke English, and she does, so um, a little bit. So I began to explain to her that I needed some deodorant, that I had lost my baggage, and she, <laughs> I don't know why she said this, but... She said, she asked me if I sweat a little or if I sweat a lot. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> like, that's just, that's just an interesting question. And, um, I sweat a lot. I do. I, I, I run around constantly. There's a lot of walking here. I know I've explained this to you before, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of walking. That's not changed in the last day and a half. And I, you know, I have a coat on usually. I have uh, one of these sweaters on. I've got a shirt on under that. Um, and I'm also hauling my laptop and whatever else I am hauling. So that's an extra 10 pounds or so on my back. And, uh, and yeah, so there's, there's, and also everyone I work, walk with, <laughs> everyone I'm touring with walks like the wind. So that's problematic as well. So I just said, <laughs> instead of explaining all that, I just said, sweat a lot. And she, uh, she led me to this. Now this is absolutely splendid. Uh, Vici Laboratories, I believe, uh, has made this incredible product that um, apparently, and if you can read the, the uh, bottom blue line, seven day efficacy. All right, um, I just want you to know, I'm probably, I'm never gonna make it try to last seven days. <laughs> I'm gonna be bathing frequently enough that that's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> Uh, it was just, it was so funny to me that they would make deodorant for seven days. It's just awesome, isn't it? And let me also show you this. Kind of a, kind of a whole squeeze experience, really. This is, I mean, it's different than what you would have at home. So, uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be taking notes on, how, um, this product and, and how it affects me. Uh, I'm just, I'm so pleased with it. It's so different. It's so cute. VG, it's so cute. So, there's that. And then also another product. Now, this one I didn't buy. This one, one of my traveling partners purchased and disc, well, he was on the discard pile. And I was asked if I wanted it and I just figured I might take it. It's, um, it's this. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. Gherkin Salat, uh, which is uh, sweet pickles. Uh, my travel buddy purchased and thought they might be dill pickles. Sadly, no. And uh, this is uh, this is just an example of <laughs> what we go through when we when we attempt to buy groceries. <laughs> uh, the our their ingredients are listed in the back, and you can kind of figure out sometimes by looking. And like the the ingredients for here, gherkin, which is the pickles, Wasser, which is water, zucker, which is sugar, and then there's something I can't pronounce. And then there's salts, which is S A L Z. Uh, salt. Um, so I, that, that's how you tell if it's sweet pickles. If the sugar is mentioned before the salt, they're sweet. So, uh, anyway, I'm keeping these in case of nuclear winter. 
uh, or nuclear winter and a picnic is scheduled. I mean, one of those. Uh, I might use it someday. I don't know. Uh, if I'm, like, starving in the middle of the night and can't get any food, I, <laughs> I'll, I'll be using those. Anyway, uh, that was... I scored big today and purchases and our our next post is going to be a discussion about dinner and what may or may not be happening tomorrow so please join me for that